I still want to put them on my lap. I can't lie. It would not work at all. I need a dog, man. But sausage dogs, they have like the, the claws, you know? Mm. The claws. Oh, because because, they, because their legs are so backs. stubby. And like... He's got very strong... They never look comfortable when mm. they're sitting. Yeah, very true. He's got very strong paws. Yes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Vos Podcast. Vos, Vos, Vos. Yes, boy. To my left, we have our host, beautiful... Amazing, oh. lovely, and gorgeous as always, ladies and gentlemen. You, we, it is David. I'm just gonna keep it the OG today. <laughs> you just, just want to be the real you, <laughs> just me, not David D. Oh gosh, uh, that's only are you throwing it away? Do you not like David D? I love it. No, it's just yeah. porn star. Alias. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Without the porn star alias, maybe he might have composure this time and not ask <laughs> our special guest whether or not they fuck off the fucking <laughs> club that they get. <laughs> question at the time <laughs> everyone gave me hell for that by the way oh, did I? But, uh, everyone oh uh, everyone like everyone was just like hey why would you ask that i, I mean like, i feel like you know pe- it's something people would be curious about exactly. yeah. like me yeah i'm a i'm a viewer as well and you can ask her after we introduce <laughs> 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 that, that, was that was smooth that was smooth ladies and gentlemen welcome to the podcast caitlin rose <laughs> <laughs> What's good, okay? Hey, back to the it's road, good, now. it's good. I'm very happy to be here. Yeah. I've been waiting a long time for this moment. It has been a long time coming, huh? Mm-hmm. Can't lie. Eight seasons, four TV shows. 26 merch drops. And one movie. <laughs> <laughs> seven studios. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually been through a l- about seven studios. Now. As someone who's yeah. seen the podcast from the start, how do you feel about the promises that David makes? Um, I, I will be honest, I have never taken them that seriously. Oh, <laughs> Then get ready because there's going to be a lot more promises coming through. I mean, through. we're still waiting for Lil Nas X, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's coming. He's that, coming. That's how you know I'm an OG viewer. Yeah, actually. That's, He's that's like episode one as well. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Number one fan, honestly. Yeah. I've been there since day one. one. Since day one. Yeah. Every, every episode. Oh, gosh. As it comes out. We're so sorry. <laughs> 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 For what you've had to be put through. I was just so bad as well because we've been making like the Instagram posts. And we're always like, I'm always so stressed. I'm like, wait, no one watches as it comes out. And I'm always like, it's fine. <laughs> we can relax. <laughs> we tell people it's coming out today. Yeah. You're even the one day you guys posted the Instagram before it was actually out on YouTube. Oh, last And week. I was so sad. Yeah. yeah I like, I was, she's fast. <laughs> I, I saw so the ba- Instagram I tried to post, post and I was like, yes, new vibes episode. And I went to YouTube and I was like, oh, that's, that's so what, sad. You know what? I felt the same. You know when you're doing YouTube live previews in the morning and there's Kate, dude, the only one there on the live. <laughs> <laughs> the first fucking, it's mad. Man. And I was oh, commenting the whole way through. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. But we're not here to talk about us. We do that no, way too ain't. often. Kate, would you like to give the people a little introduction as to who you are, oh, what you do? I, I hate introducing myself because I feel like there's like... You have to stand up like in the classrooms? Yeah. 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 It's, it's like there's, oh, two, okay. there's two... Like what do you say about yourself to condense it down into like one, you know, bite-sized piece? But I will, I will do my best. So my name is Caitlin. Okay, um, Lebel's friend <laughs> from awesome. Varsity. We know each other from Varsity. Um, I'm also a TikTok content creator. Um, it also it feels That's very weird to say name, that. That's a beautiful name, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, d- I don't know if I should go with like content creator or influencer or like, but I don't feel like I'm influencing anyone. So like, you know what you f- I but I do make content. So I you feel like you're, you, I feel like you can't say you're not an influencer, especially because of the kind of content that you make. Yeah. But yeah, like, actually, what fair, type of content fair, do fair. you make, Kate? Let, let's, uh, hear, let's, hear from, let's hear it from <laughs> your side because I feel like we could also say it, but I feel like so, it's... So I, I sum it up. I make content on South African news, politics, and social issues. Mm. So it gets very controversial she at times. She calls you out for your bullshit, basically. <laughs> exactly, exactly. She said, I came here to Vow's podcast to say, stop <laughs> spreading lies. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have a fact check, you all? Oh, goodness. No. Fact check? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it quick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and we're canc- quickly. <laughs> we're cancelling lives now. <laughs> fact <laughs> check. They are. Anyway. <laughs> no, we don't do body shaming here, guys. Facts, we don't. No. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Goodness. Delight. What are you doing you on don't. the week? I know you've been asking, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, Elizabeth in the West, man. Oh, 
But yeah, so you so, are a content creator yeah, on the TikTok. On the TikTok, yes. Yeah. Uh, based on the kind of content that you make, it does get pretty hairy at times. Very heated. But I feel Very like you, ma- you make a lot of... A lot of... It doesn't make sense how people argue with you sometimes. It really doesn't. Yeah. People say... Do you know I got accused of um, creating the war in Ukraine the other day? <laughs> because I'm a liberal feminist. <laughs> you know what, Kate? <laughs> I knew it. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> but I now know. As soon as you arrived, I said... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. International Beauty. warmonger of me. That's, that's so... That's it. I would put that as my bio. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was, it, was it like people like you? Is that how no, they directed it? No, it was... So the comment was along the lines of liberal feministness, because they didn't spell it right. <laughs> <laughs> Feminize, feminine. Yeah. Oh um, are, are, are the ones responsible um, for the war in Ukraine? Why isn't Caitlin going and fighting in the war she created? <laughs> Why do people feel so entitled to say that one single person, also not in Russia, started this war? And was such a fair point. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore the years of context. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, this one situation it was you, the catalyst. Like all on my shoulders, hey. Mm. I was gonna ask you, what's like the maddest comment you've ever? That it has to be one of them. Uh, but I get some weird ones, hey. Like a lot of like apartheid apologists in my comments. Oh. A lot of people saying like we should go back to. I had one, I, one person said, what if we just took away all the apartheid guys but kept a white government? What would South Africa be like? And I'm like, you know, those are like... That's not taking then. It's like the, it's the same. The, yeah, the, like, the white guys were the apartheid government. You know, like <laughs> one in the same. Oh That's goodness. the thing that scares me about TikTok is that like even when we post stuff on TikTok, I get nervous that we're going to get like... Because people can just comment there and people will comment. Mm. It's like And the thing is, you can go it. like... You can get thousands of views like so randomly on TikTok. Mm, like yeah. one video can just blow up and all of a sudden you've got like thousands of people commenting yeah. on. How does that feel? It feels a little bit scary like sometimes. Mm. Mm. At the moment it's like quite good because like I've kind of got like my the followers niche. and I know like that in general my audience is going to like kind of agree with what I'm saying and they're going to be like, yeah. if they disagree, they're going to be reasonable in the comments. Yeah. But then all of a sudden you'll get like an influx of new comments that are from like weirdos <laughs> like people who don't make sense and uh. it's like it's very like scary and also like people like on tiktok like don't always like give you like the benefit of the doubt and like interpret you in the way that you were like meaning to come across oh, yeah. so like even if you say something like really clearly they'll like interpret their own message yeah, from it so it's like i don't know how i can put this like more clearly to yeah. explain what i actually meant yeah. but, but you, you guys are just gonna take what you yeah. want anyway yeah i feel like you uh, kind of have a catch-22 situation because the way to obviously get information out there and get people to listen is to make those short-form videos. But when it comes to like situations like that and issues like that, do you ever find yourself wanting to say more, but the platform doesn't really allow you in the videos to say it? Yeah, so often what I'll do is I'll make like a multi-part like series Mm -hmm. and i often like i use like tiktok like you can now upload like three and five minute videos Mm. so i do that like mostly the three minute ones like quite a lot and then i'll make like because you can link through comments so i'll link through comments to like the next part um but yeah there's often times when i'm like i really like wish i could like explain myself more Mm. but then i also feel like i'm rambling because i can like tend to just like repeat myself like over and over again Mm. (laughs) so i'm like okay now i'm just saying the same thing just in like five different ways like in the same video maybe i could have just cut it at like one minute yeah yeah. and also with the videos as well it's like you're not getting the reciprocation from anyone else so you're literally like did my point come across it's like i'll just say it again (laughs) (laughs) it becomes like i'll I'll really get it this time i find find that interesting with content creators like they they obviously like preaching to an audience the whole time and Mm. it's not really like a dialogue do you find that there is like constructive dialogue within the comments or is it always just kind of like one-sided so tiktok is actually really useless with their comments because sometimes i don't even see the comments like that people are leaving on my videos mm. like so sometimes people will try to there's obviously a character limit in the comments and people mm. will try to leave comments in like multiple parts and you'll see that like, tiktok just won't show you some of the parts of the comments oh, it like it won't come up in my notifications sometimes people like mention me in videos i like don't even see it and they'll like ask me like hey did you see that video i mentioned you in? and i'm like no oh, wow. so tiktok like does me dirty a bit with like the comments so that can make it like difficult to actually like engage with people mm. but there is some i like replying to comments as like a jumping off point for my videos so that it mm. doesn't always feel like i'm just like preaching and just like talking to no one like there's mm. actually something to respond to yeah, yeah. no i so see you yeah. do that a lot where like you i don't know what they call it on 
TikTok, but like some text or where you reply to the comment yeah. as a video. Yeah, yeah. as video replies. I think it's oh, encourages that's people what they to call be it. Solid. <laughs> <laughs> so simple. <laughs> uh, and how did you get into it? Um, it was in like the lockdown when the lockdown first started lockdown. Mm. in March. I just started like like randomly I was like, you know what, people are talking about TikTok, let me start making videos. And at first I started like my videos were not focused on politics. You like, were dancing. At, I was I was dancing, I like <laughs> I was I was doing the like trends, I was ranking Taylor Swift songs. Uh, like And then you so, saw it, you're like <laughs> something <laughs> more yeah. to this. And then my actual my first like more so political video was actually about Leon Schuster. And this has oh. been the one that's gotten me in a lot of trouble. Yeah, People ride viral, viral. hard for Leon Schuster, hey? And it's so weird. Like, <laughs> 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 oh, what can you take away from those movies? He's a yeah. national <laughs> treasure who taught us the importance uh, of you, laughing. You, like, the video that I was responding to, I saw a video on my TikTok, and someone was saying, like, South African heroes or South African legends, and they had Nelson Mandela. Followed immediately by Leon Schuster. <laughs> was he in? Was he in costume or was it the Mr. Bones? Like, was it the I Mr. Bones costume? And I was like, no, guys, how can it's we? Really how can we be putting these two people on the same level? Yeah. Like, so I made a video like stitching that and being like, guys, really, no, this is not it. Oh, Leon God. Schuster is like not the. And people were then like in my comments like, no, Leon Schuster is like even greater than Nelson Mandela. Like the best thing that's happened to this country did more for na- national unity than Nelson Mandela ever did. I'm like. Like, what are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> you know what? And the thing is, like, I'd immediately dismiss that as just being banter. But after hearing the comments that you get, I'm like, no, they're probably serious. Yeah, Imagine so having to make a video serious. responding to this. Like, yeah, so guys, I did. That's, <laughs> that's what I did as I made, like, a series of videos. I made, like, three videos responding to it saying, like, okay, like, clearly you guys are not seeing the problem with Leon Schuster. Here is why I have an issue with him. Mm. And I listed, like, the blackface, mm-hmm. the racist comments, yes. the, like, stereotypes in his videos. And I was like, this is why Leon Schuster is a problem. And everyone was like, no, we don't care. It's like, but and I was like, didn't you <laughs> see that skit from Mr. Bow? <laughs> <laughs> they were like, but he's so funny though. And I'm like, to who? His head was in the elephant's butt, dude. That's <laughs> sick as fuck. <laughs> oh, that's jokes. I hope you guys aren't Leon Schuster fans, like, secretly. And I'm now trying to just figure like out <laughs> what, like, what I've seen Mr. Bones and then it's just all the shooks. Yeah. Movies that I, mm. I, I, I you, you know what it is for me? It's so weird because I watched those movies not thinking there was anything wrong with mm. them. And I feel like a lot of people did. And like when yeah. you grow up and you actually think about it, because the last time I watched a Mr. Bones movie, I was a kid. Mm. And now just thinking about them, I'm like, oh, that, was, that doesn't seem okay at yeah, all. I, th- I think that's what a lot of people have is they like, you know, remember the movies from childhood and remember enjoying them as a child. So mm. they're like, yeah, these movies mm. were like great. They were the best. But they don't think about them like now as an adult. And they don't think, well, actually, like when you think about it, like these were like pretty fucked up. Like, yeah. it's like I don't think fuck with my nostalgia. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I think it's as well, it's back to the thing we spoke about the other day, where it's like in high school, I think everyone was, not everyone was problematic, but people were problematic and it was kind of just shoved off. It's like yeah. people mm-hmm. were allowed to be basically racist and it was fine, like you were still friends with them kind of thing. Yeah. And I think then it was like, now it's actually against the age where you can call people out for it. Mm. Yeah. I feel properly. like there was a big shift as well, because if you deep it, like a lot of the stuff that now is unacceptable, you were still doing in like grade nine, grade mm, 10, you know 100%. What I mean? And it's like, only with context and being taken out of your little bubble are you able mm. to realize that. And like, cause like, especially like in society, like it's so normalized. So mm. like, because everyone around you is doing it, like your family, your friends, they all telling you, yeah, this is fine. This is normal. This is just what we like do. This is how we joke about. Yeah. You think like, oh yeah, like what's the issue? And then you like look back and you think about it and you're like, wait, like no, like why were people saying this, this was yeah. okay? That's what I'm saying. David only stopped saying the N-word in songs like last year. <laughs> Didn't Why are you gonna call him out like that <laughs> But no, basically cool. it's Who's in Paris like Dave Sorry <laughs> <laughs> But it's exactly like that Where it's like I think for you It was just normalised That everyone Would just call you the n-word Yeah 100% And it wasn't like You wouldn't blink twice about it Yeah because yeah. no one ever told me It was messed up Until you grow up And you're like Ugh. And then when you find out It's messed up When people do it It starts to feel very uncomfortable And yeah. you're like Yo bro actually just What the fuck are you doing Yeah it's horrible dude and the thing is, is like, like my perspective from it is like, okay, we've probably all done some like very like quote unquote problematic stuff in yeah. our past, mm. but like it's the people that like just refuse to actually even like have a conversation about it and mm. acknowledge that what they did in the past was like and fucked do up. Active steps to and change exactly. It. So it's like if you can acknowledge like, yeah, like I did the, these things in high school and that was really bad of me that I did them in high school and I want to actively change that. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that's like what we should be aiming for. Like, 
Why yeah. do you want to stay the same as you were in high school? <laughs> Why do you want to be making the same jokes that you were making Preach. in high school? Preach. Actually, so I've got true. a few. So uh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say, how do you feel yeah, about? It? <laughs> it was a, it's a good segue. I don't know. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, well, how do you feel about cancel culture then? So like cancel culture, I think that people who like consistently show that they like can't be responsible with a public platform should not have a public platform. Uh, yeah. And if you like are doing things that like society and like your audience and people are saying like no we don't actually appreciate that you have no right to a public platform like no one gives you the right to just have an audience of hundreds of thousands of people and if people decide that like no because of what you've said i want to unsubscribe i want to unfollow i don't want to be a part of this anymore then that's like fully their right but also like there's a certain part of me that's like you know people deserve to have the opportunity to grow and change Mm -hmm. but you don't necessarily deserve to have that opportunity to grow and change on a public platform oh wow like that's Sometimes you're like, if you fuck up like to a like really large extent, your growth is gonna then have to happen in private. Yeah, that's and people so don't owe you the public yeah. platform. Wow, like it's a privilege, not a right. Wow, yeah. that's, that's a some new take on everything. Mm. That's yeah. insane. Yeah. I never thought of it like that because always like, I don't know when people get cancelled and then they come back from being cancelled. Mm. It's almost like a you ob- kind of hope they're better, but you don't yeah. know if they're actually better. Yeah, and it's like they relatively come back unscathed. But also, like, with the coming back, like, cancel culture is not really, like, a real thing in that sense. Like, so many people, like, they do these things, they, like, are super problematic, and then they come back and they still have, like, hundreds of thousands of subscribers, like, if not millions. Like, who can you say who's actually been cancelled, like, like, properly in their life? Exactly. Yeah, no one. Because people have those, like you were saying, like, you obviously have your platform and you have the people that follow you and that enjoy your content. Yeah. And, are like-minded. Exactly. So obviously those people have it too, but it's even worse when like you're getting 10 million, 14 million views of fucking episode and it's like relatively those people aren't going to cancel you or a majority of those people aren't going to cancel you Exactly. you cultivated that fan base. You guys are together and are Mm. like, you know. So like if I ever said something on TikTok that like the vast majority of my audience like really disagreed with and were like, no, Caitlin, this is not it. This is not the take you think it is Mm. and decided we're going to unfollow you for this then like that, I would have to accept that, you yeah. know? Like, what am I going to do? Say, no, you have to still follow me on TikTok. <laughs> I've changed, I swear. <laughs> you gave me an hour to think about it and I've yeah. changed. Yeah. We, lo- we love those apology videos yeah. that come out like a fucking minute after. Oh. I've made a severe lapse <laughs> 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 <Some> judgment. <laughs> when it really started like showing when my bank account balance dropped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After I lost the Seat Geek sponsorship, <laughs> I really <laughs> took a look at my life and thought about what I've done. And I'm sorry. It took all of 15 minutes to realize <laughs> that everything I've been doing up until now has been not good. Very true. And I will make an attempt to change. The content will get worse, but that's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> New episodes every day. New every week. <laughs> so guys, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> that's jokes. Yeah, yeah, you also don't only do TikTok. No, I don't only You're do TikTok. Also, a fucking world champion Ooh. in polls for my yeah, fucking goodness. I am. Ooh. That's amazing. Yeah, Thanks. man. Walk yeah. us through that entire fucking. So, yeah, it was a bit crazy last year because last year is when I became world champ i've been national champ for a while but that's uh, also that's, but you, i mean you were looking no, for bigger no, things no no no, no. Yeah. so, so I'm, yeah. I'm the only person in my category in south africa <laughs> so <laughs> <it's> <laughs> <laughs> i will accept this by default <laughs> I no i mean like i did get like a really good score but like yeah. so mm. i actually like broke my neck in 2016 so i'm Jeez. technically like disabled so i compete in the parapole division and unsurprisingly there are not a lot of disabled pole dancers in south Uh. africa so (laughs) i am the only one in south africa Mm. which means that if i compete in any given year i am national champion for the year which is nice i mean it's nice to call yourself a national champion but then um so i've been national champion since 2019 and then yeah 2019 Mm. and then 2020 we didn't have any competitions because of Mm. covid 2021 we had it but it was all online so we had to like that must have been missions it it was so we had to like go to like a particular studio with like the competition regulation polls and like a whole setup it was filmed we had like our like two attempts to like film the routine and then that was submitted off to the international judges and then we got to watch it on like a live stream Mm. event my dumbass thought you were at home recording off a zoom meeting and (laughs) i was like oh yeah you need a a poll for I was like, that must have been so wild. Imagine, like, all the judges just, like, 18 contestants. <laughs> you said that must have been vicious. 
Dad, get out of bed. <laughs> get off the pole, Dad. Who's <laughs> there? Um, Caitlin, you're muted. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, we can't hear the music. Could you unmute the music? <laughs> I'm a bit busy. <laughs> Get your cat out of the camera. <laughs> minus five points. I'm sorry, it's regulations. <laughs> no, we did get minus points for like the most ridiculous thing. So like we had someone from the South African Federation there mm-hmm. who set up the camera and was like, this is the camera for like the like nationals like filming. This is the thing. And then it gets sent off to the judges. And then we get like minus points deducted because our heads are cut off at the top. And we're like, but we didn't set what up the cameras. The oh, that's yeah. So that's imagine silly. having, because they had to write that in the rules. So imagine now they had to make a whole new rule book. Like, if your head goes above the camera, it's going to be minus three. <laughs> <laughs> There's that one guy in the yeah. back, like, I'm going to put in the rule book anyways. Fuck, he's got to say no to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut the head off, man. <laughs> you just see the head. Yeah. What are they doing? And I mean, like, I understand, like, obviously, like, your whole body needs to be in frame for you to be properly judged, blah, blah, like blah. But it's double. like, the, at the same time, it's like, we as the athletes didn't have, like, control over yeah. where the camera was positioned. Oh, so sense. it's like, kind of unfair that we were deducted because of the South African Federation, like, thing with the cameras yeah 100% yeah. Honestly, yeah, I think although so like, wrong like well. the South African Federation they, they're all lovely people like <laughs> oh, <laughs> shout out shout out <laughs> they are all great we love champ. the South African Federation <laughs> I'm a world champ I need to keep the relations good <laughs> we've added them in the comments go, go check them out <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so in terms of like pole sport like how does a season normally work so like the Big competitions are nationals and worlds. So we have worlds every year in October. I don't think it's ever been in like a different month. It's pretty much always October. Nationals changes. Usually it's around like June-ish this year. It's um, May. Yeah, Mm. May. Mm. So I'm already like starting to prep for nationals this year. And luckily this year it's in person. So it's going to be better. Hopefully we'll be able to have like an audience there and not just the judges because it's really nice to like be able to actually perform for an audience and not just like three people. As as someone who's seen my fair share of pole competitions, Mm -hmm. that shit is exciting. (laughs) He's like one of my biggest supporters for pole. He's like come to so many competitions. Thanks. It's happiness. It's fucking sick, dude. The mm. things that they can do. Even the thing we watched last year, that entire show, that so oh, sick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was blown. Was I thought it was going to be like, I was like, I don't know what to expect. Maybe it's going to be a few poles. And then there were people jumping, flying. I was were shocked. Flying so pole, was no, no. No, it was a sick. The sick? Yeah, so that's the other place that I train at. So in addition to doing pole, I do like aerial fitness. So like yeah. silks, oh, not, Lyra. I, that was, uh, I mean, there's also like a pole studio as part of the mm. Cirque. But I train at like three different pole studios. Yeah, you're know, not like tied down to one, exactly. one club. Exactly. Oh, hop around a little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the circus where I do like my Lyra, which is like the aerial hoop, big circle that like hangs yeah. from the ceiling. That's and awesome. then aerial silks, which is the fabric that like waves and stuff. Yeah. And then there's also like trapeze and straps and like a whole bunch of other stuff That's that sick. you can do there. Show so. the camera in your hands. Anyway, uh, don't show uh, no. them, please. They probably don't want to <laughs> see. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, literally. They're actually not doing too bad today. Like, all the, like, real, like, blisters have healed. Uh, it's just the calluses blisters? now. Yeah. Ew, I thought it was just calluses. I mean, it's fabric, bro. Okay. That's a whole different Does it get hot? Thing. Yeah. I've actually, Ooh. I've got a silk burn on my, like, side at the moment. That's silk like, burn. That was the one thing with pole that I never understood, especially with a lot of those tricks. Like, when you <laughs> yeah. tell me, like, you have to... not silk. How you have to actually use like your skin and yeah. your body yeah. to stop yourself from falling. That's insane. Yeah. Is do you think like having done all the pole stuff that that makes Cirque easier for you? Oh yeah, definitely. Mm. And it's also like you can see it with like the people that start with the circus stuff and then go to pole. Mm-hmm. Like it all kind of translates because it's the same like upper body strength that you need, core strength, all mm-hmm. of that. So it's like it makes it a lot easier to pick up on. Although silks, I really struggle with silks because I'm used to like, the pole is like solid. Like yeah. it's there, it doesn't move. Whereas the silks, like you grab on and then it's just like floating away from you <laughs> and like you have to like wrap it around your feet and it's so much to remember. It's oh, like, I can imagine. So the silks is like my worst. I like Lyra because it's like similar enough to pole. D- don't you have the Lyras in pole as well? Why do I remember seeing Yeah, that? yeah. So there is, um, as part of like the pole sports, International Pole Sports Federation, they've introduced um, aerial hoop Lyra as like a discipline as well mm. that you can do. And then they've also got a uh, flying pole now, which is super sick. I was going to ask about the flying pole. <laughs> the flying pole is the one on the, the flying pole is the one that like hangs from the ceiling and then like you can have it like, there's like a little like socket thing that at the bottom and then it can Nobuki, like swivel. That socket yeah. sounds a lot Nobuki. better than what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, so Nobuki. then you can have it like 
kind of like sitting in the little like socket and then it can like swivel around like in like mm. a big circle and then it can go up and it can like spin like fast have on its you, axis have you got i've done like a, a little bit of flying pole but like not, not a lot it's very scary the oh, flying pole I can imagine. goes very high <laughs> oh goodness um but yeah and also just like time like there's so many like disciplines that i'm doing now that like i literally don't have any time to do mm. anything yeah. what's the like overarching goal for it or um, so like this year is probably going to be my last year competing like <gasps> pole nationals and worlds in like my current division. So I want to try, I'm going to try to get the world record this year because I'm technically broke the world record last year, but they didn't count any online records oh, because of like the difference in like, you know, s- standards and like in, if there's like, any like, discrepancies between like live judging and online judging, etc. So I want to try get the world record this year and then if i do that then i'm kind of like you know like that i'm that's, content i'm content yeah. and then um i'm part of a training program at the like aerial place that i do all that at and that's to eventually hopefully one day start performing like in shows and stuff so oh that's Ooh, so cool man yeah. that's gonna be so that's gonna be what shows what's the goal is, is there a lot that happens in south africa um like it's not like super huge but there is like quite like like growing like industry so like the place that i'm at they like constantly like trying to like put on like more shows and like they're trying to like grow and expand as well and get more performers more so like exciting. people coming to the show so, so yeah it's really cool i feel like everyone there is so fucking strong man mm. they are it's, it's very intimidating because like you go in there and you're like everyone can do such amazing things mm. and like this is just me mm. <laughs> but it's it's fun like i really enjoy it mm. No washing machine. <laughs> would you would you like to take this time to ask Kate to your standard against <laughs> question? <laughs> I mean, it obviously helps her pool. I mean, you've seen Cody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Does I, I mean, like, Cody has to sit through a lot of pole and aerial performances. Uh, that's that your is, real biggest fan. That right is there. my real biggest fan. Oh, he's beautiful. So, like... I mean, he he's my he's my number one supporter, Aww. which is cute. Yeah, I'm Sorry, coming lips. for your spot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming for top spot. <laughs> I'll be there every day, every <laughs> night. How often do you actually train? Like every day. Like Sundays <sighs> are my race yeah. day, but most days I train like two to three hours between like classes and like my own training. Oh gosh. So that is intense. Do you still go like commercial gym or is that like there's no reason? I literally have no time now. I'm about to like cancel my Virgin Active membership because oh. I'm paying like 600 rand a month and I like get to gym like not even once a month. Oh. Well, Kate, here's your Virgin Active representative to tell you why <laughs> you shouldn't cancel. I was just going to say good luck, not because it's like you're missing out, just cause to cancel gym yeah. memberships. Whew. I know. That's why I they haven't like actually cancelled yet because I, I just can't bring myself to like go into the gym and have that conversation with the person that's going to be like... Because they're going to go for you like all exactly, the alternatives. Exactly. Like, it's gonna be okay. Let's freeze your account until a time where you'll free up your schedule. Why don't you just freeze it forever? <laughs> no. no, they still charge you like a percentage of the fee when you freeze it. What? That's yeah. not freezing. <laughs> that's like... What's I'm so sure what they do. What do you when you like defrost meat? What's that called? That's what they did. Defrosting. There's a... Thawing. Thaw, yeah, it's like, it's like yeah. thawing your account. Yeah. Not freezing. So they like sent like, we're sending out emails obviously during COVID and then like when like gyms were like back opened up, they were like, okay, we can have like the freeze on your account where you're paying like nothing for like this, like another month. But then after that, if you want to freeze your account, it'll be like a certain percentage that will still charge you. And I was like, that seems a bit sketchy. sketchy. You know? Oh God. But say what you will about Planet. I managed to cancel that membership, but they took like one more month. But still, I managed to cancel that membership mm. relatively easily. I think it's very easy to cancel. It's just getting the courage to go there. Because yeah. you can't do it over the phone, so you have to go there. And it's yeah. like, if you can get through yeah. the sales techniques and... They told me to send a letter one time. They were like, <laughs> I have to send a letter. I'm like, I don't know how the postal <laughs> service works. The fuck? I'm why, never going to cancel Why not an email? They, they, do they, they, they not accept email? They accept email. <laughs> This is you have to send Are they later. still living in like yeah, 1970? Planets. They know so I won't do it. I can't do this anymore. It's not you. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I hope to see you in the future. Best Wish I could come back one day. <laughs> <laughs> no, you roll it up and attach it to your pigeon. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> 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 a bottle in the Yuxke River. 
<laughs> I hope that finds them. Where did they say you have to write a letter? Because like, I imagine you're in the bridge and someone's talking to you and like, oh, here's a pen and paper. And no, then, no, no, no. Oh, here's the post box. Just I, put it in there. No, and plug <laughs> it. <laughs> you put it in and he opens it right away and grabs it. <laughs> He doesn't even open it right away. You're busy trying to stuff it in with the other letters that they're not reading. <laughs> so, hey, let me stick it. We'll pick out the one we do a month. <laughs> Who's next? Who's gonna get <laughs> oh, uh, But I feel like gym contracts are like so like surely there's a better system. You know? Viva's system. Yeah, and also gold's. But apparently same. Viva you mm. also have to pay like a joining fee. If you um, wait for the right month, the joining fee is one rand. Oh, okay. like, <laughs> they, they're not serious about that joining fee. That's why people don't work out because they're waiting for that one rand. <laughs> I'll start gym when it's one rand. When it's one rand, yeah. But the joining fee, I feel like is it's it makes sense. Like you have to think of gyms as fucking business. Oh, I don't like. But it. like, surely they're making enough money about all of, of off of all the people it's who cool. have memberships and just never come to gym, right? You know. And there's so many people that do like, that because even our friend Ali, shout out the boy, he goes to like this functional training, and this mm-hmm. guy says that he's got like over like 800, well not 800, but like over 120 people that go to the gym, and the session's only over like 60 people. Like mm. ever, I and mean, it's mm. like there's just like fifty people that just don't pay. That, I mean, they pay but they don't come. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like once you just get used to that debit order get going off your account every month, you kind of like yeah. If you you're fine with it going off that yes. month, you'll be fine for the rest it's of the just, time. Exactly. I have a spreadsheet where I budget, and it just sits there, and I haven't been to gym. <laughs> in three or four Use that as motivation, that, like highlight it, make it like flashy. <laughs> <laughs> no like help, that's me as well. Like I've got it. Like it goes off. It's in my budget. I'm like I'm spending like. 600 rand on this yeah, you guys every single nice. month. Every time I see that on the second, it's just like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mark, stop. Yeah. No, and every time the debit order goes off, I get the notification from my bank and I'm like, yo, I should really try to get to gym this month. But there's literally no time. Like, mm-hmm. And like any time that I could go to gym, I would rather like go and like train for like pole or for aerial and like do the stuff that I'm actually like focused on. Yeah. And like gym would just be supplemental training. But I can go to any of like the studios that I train at and, and do, do like conditioning work, training basically. there yeah. that's going to be like more like relevant to what i actually want to achieve yeah. in aerial so and then one time you go to the gym and it's just packed as exactly well, and, like, I'm not gonna come and back. then now like with covid you have to sanitize everything after every time you use it and it makes you take like twice as long mm. i just I'm it's like not worth it though, these days <laughs> <laughs> oh, you so mr you muscle <laughs> <laughs> that's what they do call they call me that at gym but because <laughs> you're always cleaning the shits Jamie's there cleaning the mirror. <laughs> Got to sanitize the Gotta mirror. Got to make sure that he can see his reflection nice and clearly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. The, the pole dancing, did, how did you get into it in the first place? How the hell did it start? So I was going to um, aerial yoga with my mom, actually. And the studio that we were doing aerial yoga at is uh, also a pole studio. It was the first pole aerial studio that yoga. I started. So it's like a Let's little like hammock that. that hangs from the ceiling. And like my mom and dad have always been like big into yoga. Mm. And like when I was in high school, I was like not into like exercise or anything like at all. So I would always just be like, ugh, like I'm not into it. I don't want to do PE at school. Like yeah. I don't want to like go to gym. So then my mom and dad were like, no, you have to do something like for yourself. So then like they started taking me to yoga and I was doing yoga with them. And then I was like, yoga is really boring. So aerial um, yoga. yeah, aerial <laughs> yoga, <laughs> spice it up. And then um, like it was a studio that like we found through like someone that my parents know and we started going there and my mom and I would go to the aerial yoga classes and then we would always see the people like going into the pole studio like as we were leaving for our aerial class and like them like setting up all the poles and I was like you know that actually seems exactly I was like that seems like (laughs) so much fun but I was like you know I was a very anxious like because this was like 17 um so I was like very anxious and I was very nervous I was like I can't go to a class by myself so I was like mom will you come to a pole class with me and then she was like yeah fine and she was thinking like we'd just go to one and I would hate it and then we'd never go back and now oh my uh, so you wait so yeah. what your mom's done as well yeah <laughs> so you've got her on like a trick like oh come with me <laughs> yeah, now you're doing freaking tandem uh, yeah routines. so now my my mom is a pole instructor and she no competes ways. as well yeah that's mad man mm. Yeah, so, so that's really cool. Did you, you, you said you broke your neck six years ago. Yeah, 2016. So that was during that time? Yeah, so it was like I'd been doing pole for like a year and a half-ish mm. or something. I don't know. Dates are so Switch. long ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened but in yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but it was like 2016 and then I broke my neck and it was like a whole 
situation. Was yeah. it from pole dancing? Yeah, I fell off the pole. Shit, man. There's a video on YouTube. Catch David's going to try to kill this fly. <laughs> <laughs> We're animal friendly. Yeah, you know how much Chihuahua eats flies? She like no way. Yeah. Can I slap you in the head? Yeah, of course, man. Oh, gosh. It, it we interrupt right your podcast viewing so that David can... <laughs> Who's <laughs> clap my talk? If you got it, actually. This is a white hood. We're going to get a fly blood. <laughs> oh, the white Flies hood. don't bleed. They pass. <laughs> Which is even worse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like you could get a blood stain out, but a pus, pus stain. Fly pus on your hoodie. <laughs> You'd have to just throw it away. No, I'd, people have told me to throw it away because it's too obnoxious. No, I like it. It's cute. Thanks. Who said throw it away? No one, actually. They're just it's shouting. It's just you. <laughs> yeah. In the mirror. Looking at myself like, why am I going out like this? A yeah. you regret. <laughs> Your puss. <laughs> Speaking of puss, Dylan. Jeez, like. Would you like to? I know you're nowhere near your phone. <laughs> get into <laughs> this week's Vav Chicks because sometimes I really need to remind myself. Hey? Mm. Otherwise, we'll never we just forget. There. It'll literally, it's been at the end of every episode. And we said last <laughs> week, we're like, no, we'll do it at the start. And then it's like, and then just, oh, we got talking. Like. Yeah, right? So yeah. much better than Vav Chicks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the Vibe Chicks. I like the Vibe Chicks. Oh, well, you're answering this one. This one is from Carl's H. Ooh, Ooh. A, a new viewer that's the h her bob check is on whether you tell your friend's partner if your friend is cheating on them Ooh. and then she's put your, the monkey face your it's friend's like, partner that your friend is cheating on the partner so your, the person that you're friends your. with is doing the cheating is that what? the situation <laughs> <laughs> there's too many friends too I'm many just, partners yeah i'm just trying to figure out like what the situation is is it like your so, your friend is being cheated on or your friend is the one doing the cheating Say it again, Dil. Your friend. Okay. You. <laughs> Vibe check on whether you tell your friend's partner uh, if your friend is cheating on you. Uh, so oh. Like, do I tell tough. Lebo's girlfriend oh, that Lebo's is a Lebo dog? Is the Lebo's out here in the yeah. streets. See, I feel like if someone knew that, like, I would want them to tell me. Like, mm. I would want to know. So I feel like in that situation. Also, like, do I want to be friends with a cheetah? Yeah, I was going to say, you know? what's, that, what's, that, what's that saying? It's such a... No, do you know what? Your tribe is your vibe. Well, vibe, was, vibe your tribe, something <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> what is it again? Your tribe is your vibe. Or yeah. Your it's vibe like who attracts you surround your tribe. Yourself. That's it. It attracts exactly. your tribe. But it's like, if, you, if you're letting cheetahs go, you're a cheetah so, You know, I'd, I'd actually probably what I'd do is I'd like say to the friend in question, I was like, no, you can't keep doing this. You need to actually tell the person like gives what the situation what if you didn't like and the if, partner if I didn't like the partner yeah because I <laughs> you, I'd probably still tell them because then they're going to break up right what if they don't it's <laughs> just even worse now it makes them Kate, stronger say, yeah, <laughs> Kate, <you laughs> saved our relationship fuck <laughs> <laughs> polygamy <laughs> no but I think you know, yeah. you know what my perspective is and I feel like we've had this conversation before if and uh, We've had this conversation before. If one of our friends was in that position, why would you tell the? Why would you go around them and tell the partner? Why wouldn't you just like kid saying tell that your mate that they're being an asshole? Yeah, like, that would be out. like my first. <laughs> what are you? I'm a, I, look, I get that as for me. My thought process is, you don't cheat by mistake. Yeah. You know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what are you? Yeah, but sometimes someone needs to be called out on their bullshit so that they change. Ah. No, like if that if that was my friend, I'd be like, you know what, like I'll call them out and say like this is not okay. Like I don't want to like be friends with someone who's going to be able to do this to their partner. Like you either need to tell them, and if you don't tell them, then like you know, give them the ultimatum. Give them the ultimatum. That's and if you're cheating, I've got you want your friends to I tell your partner. I can see has got a completely different view. No, I don't. I want to no. hear it. Would you, you do? Would you want someone to tell your partner you're cheating? Well, I wouldn't cheat. No, but uh, for, the se- for the sake of this conversation, well, you're a you hound dog. I know you wouldn't cheat. No, everyone knows you wouldn't cheat. It's a long stretch. If you cheated, I'd be shocked. You know? I wouldn't say anything. Like, I would have to I change my whole personality completely to be able to cheat yeah. on someone. Can, can we flip this? Yeah. So, if we knew that Cody was cheating, would you want us to yes. come to you? I'd and snitch tell you? immediately. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to Kate or to Cody. You guys, no, because you guys are not just Cody's friends. Like, you're my friends as well. Yeah. yeah. So, like, It'd as my friend, you should tell me. But who do you okay. tell first is my question. No, you obviously... Well, he knows obviously... he's cheating, so you don't have to tell him. <laughs> 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 so, 
<laughs> just do the tailgate. Like, I hate you. Coach, <laughs> listen, I don't want to. I don't want to be the one to tell you this. I was wondering but not that's not, to not your girlfriend. <laughs> it's I. I was shocked as well. <laughs> Um, did you have your glasses on? I don't know. <laughs> Those jokes. Oh, God. Uh, but look. <laughs> my question is, who do you top first? Like, in, especially, like, Lev's a situation. You're very good friends with Kate and Cody. And you know that one of them is cheating on another. Who do you top first? The person that's cheating or the other person that's being cheated? Well, with? he knows that he's <laughs> cheating. <laughs> No, I'm leaving. You, you, you have to you have to tell the person that's cheating. You have to give them the chance to you know do it themselves. Because I feel like yeah. if you go to the other person, it's a bit like techie. Because it's like, bro, you're my mate. Why wouldn't you at least give me the decency to but, X Y Z? And it's but like, they didn't. No, but they didn't give me the decency when mm. they cheated Kate, on please, me. Please, sorry, this isn't your friendship. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I because I wouldn't want to. If I'm being completely honest, eh, I would not want to be involved at all. Like, cause. I've seen situations where you tell somebody that someone's cheating and then they stay together for another four years. And uh, you're like... Yeah. And you're mm. the asshole. And you're the asshole yeah. who fucking did this, this, and this. So obviously, you tell the person first and then you tell the... F- then you tell the friend that they're, cheating, they're being cheated on mm. if they don't take that action. You know what I just realized? Yeah. And I feel like you guys know this. I was in that situation. After you said that, that you become the asshole. Yeah. I've been in that situation. Oh, where well, you were the asshole. And like, I, but like that, yeah, anyways, called someone out on their bullshit, but to the partner instead of to them first. Them. Yeah. And I was the asshole because again, they stayed together. Yeah. So it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You just, yeah, you know, stay out, stay out of it. Stay out. See, of I don't know how you stay together with someone who cheated on you. Ah, oh, like people sh- settle. That's the thing that scares me. <laughs> settle. Unless, yeah. What, what, else would, what else would it be? You settle for a cheater. What if you're in love, man? And they said they'll yeah, never if, do it again. <laughs> if, no, if, it, it, if, you're really love. In love with, if you're really in love with someone, you're not going to cheat on them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You guys are having your own fucking... <laughs> 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 yeah. No, yeah, no. You wouldn't cheat. I don't know. So what would you say? Who do you tell? For the fan whose friend is cheating. Okay, right so, so I give the friend the opportunity to like own up to it first. But then if they don't, I go and tell the partner. But again, what if you're not... Are you that against cheating? I am. Really? <laughs> no! <laughs> I just think you got to look at both like, sides. That's a no, he's like, not no. that racist. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> just because you put on the hood, I mean, you can take it off anyway. No, so, so what I'm saying is like... <laughs> David only got the joke now. <laughs> I was like, oh, are you wearing a hood? I was like, oh, why not? No. Let's get that off. <laughs> don't want to put you in an uncomfortable situation, David. Anyway, I don't think that I'm... If I was their friend, so in the context of like I'm friends with both of them, yep. yeah, I'd do exactly what you're describing. But if I wasn't mates with the other person, I think I'm a trash human being for it. But it's like, I'd make my friend... I'd want to make my friend do it, 100%. But it's like, at the end of the day, like, what do you... I don't know. Because I'm also toxic in the sense of... If it was happening to me, I don't care who you are off the street, tell me. You know what I yeah. mean? Because I've seen people on the streets seeing cheating happen and being quiet mm. about it. And I'm like, why didn't you tell Like, you know I'm those like, girls on Instagram that'll DM you and be like, just wanted to let you know your mans was in my DMs oh, on Thursday. Those girls are the, the MVPs, hey? Yeah, actually, I respect that. Because uh, it's literally you know? like, you're coming out of left field, you're random. Yes, you yeah. Have, th- there's no reason why I should believe yeah. you or trust you. Yeah. No, I think... Hmm. I would want to know, so that's what I would. I would. Yeah, do. treat others how you. Exactly, mm. golden rule. Mm. Dave, I'm, I'm in the same mind. I think there could be a fun way to do it, where you get both of them. A there fun and way. And then you, <laughs> you get like the messages or something, and you just no, put no, it no, down no, and be no, like, I, "I like your idea, but you just like one of you is cheating. I gotta go." <laughs> <laughs> well, I know it's not me. <laughs> 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 These are your messages. <laughs> no. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> like the cheater's like, babe, can't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those jokes. Oh, Dill, you want to slap us with another vibe check before I get cancelled <laughs> <laughs> or cheated on? <laughs> and not told. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's from the very carpet maker himself, Ross C. He didn't Woo! make the carpet. No, he trenched. <laughs> he bought it. 
Have you seen those carpet making videos on TikTok? I love them. Mm. Oh, very satisfying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I what I that. imagine him having done to make this. Follow him. His name's Carpet Rugs Z A. Carpet Rugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carpet Rugs Custom Rugs Z A. I'm stupid. Don't listen to him. We'll put him in the comments. Seriously, go look at his shit because he's yeah. got dope stuff. Like if you're into Pokemon and stuff, he does like rugs on Fact. a whole bunch and of stuff. He sells and he does custom stuff. Excuse? Yeah. He's and got a right to just for you. <laughs> Anyways, Boom. from Ross C, his vibe check is telling your friends you love them or men getting pedicures. <laughs> 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 I think it was pick so one. So there's two there. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, well, I, Dil, mean, I we feel we like each other, we love each other. Yeah, of course. Me and Dill can get into the sun right now. Uh, this is he's so <laughs> funny enough, yeah. I didn't even it's notice that we did we this, but we just... I went and today on the phone, you asked me a bunch of stuff and I said, all right, love you. And then... You just said, okay, bye. Did I really? Yeah, you did. <laughs> you do it often. I, just lie to me, is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> just say it, even if you don't mean it. Do, I know you, I know you and saying love is not, not for, not it's, for us. It's difficult, babe, because you I don't. don't know if I'm there with you yet. So I it's get like, it. It's going to take some time, but when I'm there, I'll definitely tell you. But what if I'm not there when you're ready? <laughs> I moved on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't mind. I love saying I love you to your friends. I'll say I love you to anyone. Written. <laughs> <laughs> hold up, 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 hold up. Put it, put it. All, all David's exes are like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> all, the da- all the girls Dave's linking are like, but you have it. <laughs> There's a pretense. Oh, God. Kate is a lot of people. actually in love. <laughs> How do you feel about saying I love you to your friends? Or Yeah, like, I don't say it to, like, everyone. I'm not like David. But um, yeah. I would, I say it to, like, yeah. my close friends. I'm like, yeah, like, you hang up the phone. You're like, yeah, I love you. Like, yeah. you, like, ending off a message, yeah, love you. You yeah. know? Like, it's, it's normal. It's, like, mm. different, like, when you're saying, like, I love you, like, in a relationship, I feel. Yeah. Like, it's a different, like, kind of love, but it's still love. So, like, why would you not say it, you know? Yeah, imagine your bro slaps you with a, I love you. Not I love you, bro, or anything. It's just like, I love you. <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've said I love you to you guys. That I'm in love with you. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> see, but David, see, David does that thing on the phone where he goes, uh, I'm in love with you. Love you. <laughs> like, there's a... <laughs> you know what he says? You know what he says? Gaslighting David, me. David does this thing. <laughs> You're we're gaslighting me. He's about to like end the conversation. He's like liar, and I'm like, what yeah, are yeah, you? you see, yeah. no, he doesn't say love you. Yeah. He's like liar, yeah. and it's like, what the f- is that? Do you mean it? For everyone, anyone that's been gaslit in their life, <laughs> I now understand how you feel, and I and I sympathize with you. And for you guys, you're shit. And I don't it's, lie. Yeah. It's exactly you do. <laughs> you never say the words "I love you." Do you want me to? We say it back well, then. Maybe that's when I'd say it back. Do you get pedicures, Dill? But why can't you say it first, Dylan? Ooh. <laughs> good fucking good point. <laughs> <laughs> that's for therapy. <laughs> <laughs> We're just starting now. Everyone, welcome back to Therapy Podcast, where Kate takes Dylan David through their issues. Kate, name name one of their Black issues. Jacks on me the entire day today. What's wrong with blackjacks? <laughs> White jacks? <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Men getting pedicures. Yes. How do you feel so about it? So, the next vibe check. Kate, you're very... The next vibe check is... Uh, men Are we not going to do... Oh. Manicures or pedicures? I think it's cool, you know? Mm. Like, treat yourself. Yeah. Do, do you know what a pedicure is? Pedicures for your feet, right? And then man... Yeah. Men, men, uh, pedicures, men- pedicures toes. Manicures. Pedicures are actually lovely when they like massage your feet. Oh, oh I've, that's I've gone for a pedicure before and it was terrible because I've got ticklish feet. Yeah, if you, lady, don't, if you don't like having your feet touched, it's she, not a... She was on a schedule and <laughs> she, I was there, I was like, hmm, hmm, and she was like... <laughs> she didn't tickle my foot. Yeah, I was good to say. But it felt, it was very ticklish. But pedicure, I mean, yeah, manicures, I can do. Manicures, I'm fine. Mm. But I feel like yeah. you have very like much liberal feminist that je- I'm joking, <laughs> but like you very much have the mindset of like people can just do what they want, just let them. Yeah, it's like what what difference is it gonna make in the world if like a man gets a pedicure? Like, mm. you know, <laughs> war starts in Ukraine. God, <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! I knew it was be all along. <laughs> no, but like, 
you know, like if you want to paint your nails, paint your nails. Like mm. if you want to get a pedicure, get a pedicure. Like who am I to tell you? Like no, you can't get a pedicure because that's not masculine. Jeez. You know, damn yeah, right. Toxic masculinity is it's a, a thing. whole other one, and it makes you have like crusty feet. You know, oh those 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 anger those angles when you're sleeping with your boy. <laughs> 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 when you're sleeping next to your boy. <laughs> No, David, if you want to sleep with your boys, that's fine Tell as well. Tell them you love them. <laughs> Dave, don't worry. That's okay, man. <laughs> you can sleep with your boys. No judgments here. No escape. Also, do you... Oh, I thought you were going to say you're sleeping head to toe, so that back crack <laughs> ankle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why you need to go to the pedicure, because it like yeah, busts it up. it down. Yeah. To make sleeping head to toe acceptable. No, yeah, it makes so much nicer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest though I, I like don't go t- for pedicures anymore because I had a very bad experience with a pedicure oh, and right. I'm actually can I like call a business out on this podcast Do it. Burn That's Bridges great. Life Day Spa in Four Ways Cheers. gave me a foot fungus because they did not clean their pedicure equipment properly in between no, bro. Yeah. I don't want to go get a pedicure. <laughs> That's yeah, an option. <laughs> imagine, imagine you say, what no, do you like, want? I want a jellish and a fungus. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, you get a pedicure, it, just don't go to Life Day Spa, the oh, one at cool. Design Quarter. It's, no. <laughs> You're getting specific. No, <laughs> I'm very specific. Yeah. I will never trust that place again. Yeah, they, like, ruined there. my feet. And, like, th- this shit doesn't go away. Like, it's, like, with you. How long ago was that? This was when I was, like, in high school. Oh, God. Yeah. That's it's very so sad. Terrifying. It's tragic. Now I have like gross feet. Really? Uh-huh. I mean, but they're you not. You do and yeah. I've never looked at them and been like, that's. that's I mean, they're not, like, they're not like. They're not like super like disgusting, but my big toes are a little fucked up. Huh. Yeah. That's so mad. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, if you do get a pedicure, make sure you go to like a reputable place and make sure you watch them clean the stuff in between, like before they mm. use it on you. That's and with like alcohol. Mm. Yeah. Would you ever go for like, like facials and treatments? And mm, if it didn't cost, geez, like if you actually like priced it out, you spend a small buck on yourself. Mm. Just so you must, you must get affordable? it on the like deals and the specials. Mm. I took Cody for his birthday one time. We went for like a spa day, and it's like nice we got it like on like a yeah, special where you get like stuff. the like package of treatments for like a reduced price because it's all part of the package. It was really nice. I think actually, the you know that I was telling you about the spa thing that I booked with Pav. Mm. at Indaba I think it includes mani- manicures and I keep saying manicures I thought you were going to say medical aid I was like that's great I <laughs> hope you <laughs> like <laughs> yes free medical aid well <laughs> why, why is that what your mind would go to he's a, he's a <laughs> man- mannequin I was like medical aid <laughs> mannequin aid <laughs> <laughs> it's aid for mannequins and stuff <laughs> <laughs> but I've, I've also brought up like Rockets Man uh, they're at Foy's Mall and they do that whole treatment for mm-hmm. specifically for men um and they've got fucking nice packages there. Like, I've always wanted to just, yeah, treat myself. Maybe we should go. Hey? Uh, you should Bob's do a vibes vlog. Rockets Man. Vibes vlog. See, Kate's it's, honest, dude. She's yeah. there. I went for a haircut at Rockets Man. And then? Uh, not for... Really? I don't want to call our business. Yeah, but <laughs> you're, a, you're a hair, like, stylist. Specialist. So, yeah, a specialist. So you... Yeah, so like, we should trust his opinion on mm, Rockets. That's so weird that you would be like, oh, Dave's going to be close, dude. No, but I feel like you're being... Picky. Hypercritical because, especially for men, I don't feel like men aren't very hypercritical about relatively in film that type of thing. But why not? Do you do you expect people to, to no. trust your film critics, or is it that you're being too critical that you wouldn't? I love you, man. Okay, anyways, what were you guys <laughs> saying? <laughs> so sweet, but yeah, we should go for we should go for a place, not a barber shop, though. Is it a, okay? Yeah, that's where my mind went. Is because you were talking about your relationships and how you go for spa days. I'm like, damn, I need a relationship. So I, I was gonna say days. that. I was, no, I was gonna go by the yourself. Opposite of saying we should call out couples to like, get special treatment. But you guys could book a couples package and just go. Now, last time we tried to do something coupley, I ended up paying 200 rand instead of 130, <laughs> and we didn't get the buddy that's drink. Because you didn't speak. <laughs> I said, yeah, the couples one. Oh, you said it. <laughs> yeah, we're we getting were, it. <laughs> Lives and I had a great Saturday, the one Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> we went and we went to go out, like, to the town, live our lives. We ended up getting pizza and watching Twilight. It was fantastic. <laughs> that sounds like an oh, awesome it was day. Great. It was awesome. But then <laughs> we ended up spending a lot more money on this pizza because Libs couldn't say... What is it? It's because I date. thought it was, it was one called, deal. It was called a double date, and Libs didn't want to say that. I not that I didn't want to say it. I just thought, like... You would know what I'm talking about. But apparently the double date is separate to their other large pizza combo. Where they have two large oh. pizzas for 200 rand. But it's... The double date was two large pizzas 
for one thirty, and you get why, a drink. Why would, why would they have both of those? It's a different type of pizza. It's a rectangle, and then oh, okay. One. We got more but bang still, for our buck. Like, and I still didn't get banged. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to ask someone else for that lips. Okay, <laughs> I just watched. But just ever since we slept head to toe, maybe. <laughs> you're not after saw his ankles, buddy. <laughs> you would get a pedicure first level. <laughs> What? <laughs> I've been for it before. Did you enjoy it? No, I was young. It was like mm-hmm. everything. It was like your face. It was that was mainly it, and then <laughs> nails, and then feet ones. But I hate people touching my feet. I hate yeah. feet. See, you have to be like a certain kind of person to enjoy a pedicure. You need to be like the type of person that doesn't mind having their feet touched. I just don't like being touched in general. If really? I'm honest. Yeah. So like a massage, like a full body massage, you wouldn't enjoy I that. Don't touch me, rather. Really? Yeah, it's weird. I don't know what it is. Your you're, you're the person that finds out that I have arachnophobia and then gets a bunch of spiders and puts them in my <laughs> no, lunchbox. No, it's impossible because I, I hate spiders as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason why you wouldn't do it. Yeah, fully. <laughs> also, you say that, but then when, when you save the day, the one day. Katie, you should have seen it. But he's saying in a hypothetical, if he were afraid uh, of spiders, yeah. that's what you would do. Not that he is afraid that's of nice. spiders. Yeah. She's such a good mediator. Please come back because yeah, damn, actually, wow, they carry so on for longer if you're not here. They just keep uh, going. Uh, <laughs> you do. You just fought for twenty minutes about how he doesn't say I love you. That was David screaming at me. I don't care. I mean, and that's why the don't you care, Dylan? <laughs> there it is. So getting back on track. <laughs> <laughs> do we have, we do have, you have another vibe check or? Do you have any vibe checks you want to say? Is there anything you've ever I'm prepared as a for this at all. I'm just so. like in, in, in your life, have you ever been watching and you're like, oh wow. No, because I submit my vibe checks yeah, when I think do. of them. Yeah. Because I'm a good fan. You're calling out all you other fans. Exactly. Or one of Step you. up your game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maybe the, then you'll get invited on the podcast. Oh, damn. Oh, That's shit. a call out to all the fans. <laughs> To step up your game. That's so toxic. Imagine just like minding a business on a Thursday. They're like, oh, wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> or they're like, I bet. And then with the fan podcast, we just get a bunch of fans. Like. Bet. If you want to be on the podcast next week, not next week, in a few weeks, let us know. You said that last podcast as well. Do you? Do Did you, you guys get any requests? Them? Yeah, tons. We we do. People ask often, actually, like mainly in person, like when they see it, it's like, oh, can I come on the podcast? And it's like, it's a weird request. It's like, why would you, well, not why I'm, would you want to it be It seems fun. It, like, and it is fun. It's like a vibe. <laughs> how, how are you feeling? Mm-hmm. I want to yeah. ask, like, do you feel spirit? like awkward and stuff? Because we, I, like, for me, I would feel hella awkward. No, I don't, I don't know. It feels chilled. I'm like the type of person that I can just talk a lot. So yeah. well, it's a perfect you know. thing for you. That's fair. We appreciate it. For me, that. my biggest fear is like when someone asks, like, okay, I'll be on the podcast. And it's like, um, like are you going to be able to hold an hour conversation? Because mm. even for this week that's coming now, Dill was on it, yeah, and he was actually on the mic. He wasn't behind the camera. Mm. And like minute 40, he, you could see him. Buckle. He just turned off. <laughs> yeah. It's so hard. Like, because I, I don't know how you guys do it for an hour. And it's weird because I'm standing here, but not like I, I get to walk away. Yeah. <laughs> you, know what I mean? you guys have to like fully be aware and engage the whole time. It's difficult, man. It's, it's, a, how, it's a sport. How long have we been recording for now? An, an hour. hour. Just oh, an hour. Yeah, see, it doesn't even feel like an hour. No. I could like it probably go for another hour. Hectic. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who keeps the lights on in this place, but... Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd die if I did two hours. Yeah, no. <laughs> we, could, we should do a 24-hour like live stream one day. Just 24-hour yeah. podcast. Get, get me on for that. I'll like... Uh. You know what? Oh, a solid four hours, I feel like I could do. That would so, be cool. I feel like we haven't even spoken about it, but you also do... Oh, YouTube. I do do YouTube. <laughs> you do do YouTube. I'm and very I bad to, at I had to find this. out through the most backdoor alley fucking way because you don't tell anyone. How, how did you actually find out? I, I literally, I don't know what it was. I think it was TikTok. And then I just went into your link or some, or your mm. profile. Mm. And then I saw a link for YouTube. I was like, um, <laughs> this is probably just for, you know, the old channel, you know, where you're supposed to, I don't know, poll stuff. And then I see vlogs and I'm like, no, Kate, <laughs> you wouldn't do this. <laughs> you wouldn't have a whole vlog channel and not tell me about it. I mean, I, I don't post very consistently on there. That means you're a true like, YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so fair, fair, fair enough yeah so like just like every now and again you know if i'm doing something interesting i'll film a vlog sometimes if there's something i want to talk about i'll make a video on it mm. and then i'll just That's post cool. it on youtube yeah. but i've what actually it feels for yourself sorry it's like because you don't advertise it it's like it's for you as yeah well, which is nice i like 
it just feels like very awkward to be like, you know, go watch my YouTube video. Like, especially because uh, like, uh, the, we, like, we've got <laughs> boss. <laughs> like the platforms that I've grown on, like TikTok, like my growth has been like very much like random and organic. It's like, I didn't like promo it to anyone. Like I didn't tell anyone I was yeah. starting TikTok. And then like suddenly I had like a whole bunch of followers and then like everyone just kind of found out. Yeah. So like, I, I think I was just like, you know, the same thing can maybe happen with YouTube one day. One yeah. day if I get a whole bunch of subscribers, like then it'll be cool and yeah. I'll like tell people. But like, it's kind of, yeah, I'm like, it's also things that I like want to document like for myself. So mm. it's like, I've got technically two YouTube channels. The one I've posted like hardly anything on and that I was like, okay, oh, maybe I'll start making videos of like all the stuff that I'm take, talking about on TikTok and like, I like have a separate channel for that. So it's like, you know, doesn't like clash. I, I think and, it like, would bang by the way. I think it would too. I just like don't have the time. <laughs> oh, fair, fair. Yeah. Especially for long-term content. Eh? Exactly. Because how long are TikTok videos now? TikTok, I can make up to five minutes. Mm, but like, okay. So, like, I did a video on, like, the whole situation in Ukraine and, like, explaining, like, the background and, like, what's happening in the context and all of that and, like, how it's, like, going to impact South Africa and everyone. So, like, go check that out if you want to know what's happening Hell in yeah. Ukraine. Um, but, so, like, I posted, like, that. Like, I originally started making it as a TikTok and then I was like, okay, this is no way going to be, like, it fits in even five minutes. Mm. So, then I just, like, like filmed it, like, normally. And, like, I had 45 minutes of footage. Jeez. And, like, I had to edit that down and, like, I edited it down to, like, a 15-minute video. But it took me so long to, like, film. Like, it took 45 minutes to film. And then it took, like, another, like, over 45 minutes to edit because I had to watch back all the footage. Yeah. And a lot of it was me just, like, sitting there thinking of what to say because, like, I just, like, left the camera running. I was just, like... Yeah. So, like, it was, like, like five minutes of me just, like, sitting there thinking, like, okay, how am I going to phrase this <laughs> next part of the video? Because I didn't script it in advance because yeah. I don't for TikTok. I just, like, oh. say. And then if I don't like the way it came out, I'd, like, delete the clip and re-record. Mm. But, like, for if you're, like, actually filming and then have to, like, go edit, mm. you have to, like, delete it, like, manually afterwards, which takes a lot longer than just pressing the delete button on TikTok. Yeah. So I need to come up with, like, a more sustainable way to actually film long-form content. That's what I was going to ask. Is like, what's your actual process with filming? Like, from, like, conception to, like, actual recording? So, conception, I usually get a lot of ideas from Twitter. Twitter's, like, a wild place. There's yeah. so much that goes on there. And often, it'll give me some really good good ideas of, like, okay, I should really talk about that in a video. So, then I'm like, okay, I take all my screenshots of, like, things that I want to, like, include. Like, the green screen feature on TikTok is so useful because I, like, often just put something up in the background and I'm like, I'm talking about this. Yeah. Um, so, then I'll, like, take all my screenshots and then usually it'll be a wild before I actually get around to filming. So then I spent like half an hour looking through my photo album to like find all the screenshots <laughs> yeah. to favorite them. So then I can like actually find them when I'm making the video. And then I'll just like kind of like think like in the five minutes before I actually start filming, okay, what do I want to say about this? And then I'll just start filming and just like talk. Mm. Yeah. yeah. How do, but like, how do you know what you want to talk about? Like, because are you plan? do you have like a content plan for the month? No. Not at all. I've tried to organize that. For TikTok, it's so... Because, like, also what I'm talking about is, like, very, like, current events. So, it's, like, things, like, as they happen. I'm, like... So, like, I see something, like, coming up, like, on, like, News24 or on Twitter or on wherever. Like, I'm seeing it on TikTok sometimes even. And then I'm, like, okay, I need to make a video on that. So, then, like, I'll, like, take a screenshot or, like, make a note of it in, like, my notes app or something. And, like, be, like, okay, I need to come back and film that. But, like, I don't, like, plan out when I'm gonna, like, actually film it and post it so whenever i have time i then like spend like usually like quite a good chunk of time like an hour or two like just filming a whole bunch of tiktoks in a row of everything like i've screenshotted Mm. since the last time i filmed and then i'll like luckily with tiktok there's like minimal editing involved because you edit kind of as you make the video and then i'll like choose like okay today i need to post like a video because i try to post at least like one video a day and i see how many i have like filmed and then i see like when's the next time i'm going to be able to film more videos and yeah. i kind of like then try to spread them out mm-hmm. over the days of when i post them oh, that's dope. Well, with that do you, do you ever feel like you're you're less growth focused and more content focused or are you like i want to because you say you like post stuff that's like relevant and current is that just because like it wouldn't make sense to post it afterwards or is it like a also a thing for growth like Um, a little bit of both. It's like, it's kind of like, okay, well, everyone's like, if you wait too long to like post about something, then like everyone's already kind of said everything that Mm. needs to be said about the situation. And then I've like seen like mutuals of mine on TikTok that I've made like videos about the situation. I'm like, okay, well, they kind of said everything that I wanted to say. So now there's no points to kind of like reiterate when I could just like, you know, comment on that video and like repost that video and shout it out Mm. in some way. Although sometimes even if someone else has spoken on something, I'll still like, if I feel like I know this is something that I personally like really want to speak about, I'll still make the video no matter Mm. how many other people have said something on it. And like, no matter how like long after the fact it is. 
So, yeah, it just kind of depends. But sometimes I feel like, oh, no, people are going to like, people are bored of this issue now. Like, yeah. we're over it. So, yeah. like, it doesn't make sense. But I'm trying to, like, not, like, let that too much because, like, there's still a lot of things that I want to say. And just yeah. because it's, like, you know, later doesn't mean that it's not, like, worth really? saying. Yeah. When, when you find a topic, do you go and, like, research fucked before? Or do you feel like... Because I assume, like, in, an, in, in, a flu, in an influencer space, you have to have an opinion. Like, you yeah. have to have an opinion. Otherwise, you, like, you can't be an influencer, right? Like, mm-hmm. you have to be solid about your ideas. But I imagine that you have to do, like, a lot of research to back yourself properly, right? Yeah. So, like, there's, there's some topics now that I've kind of, like done the research now if something like new comes up like related to that i'm like okay i can just speak on this because like i know that what i'm saying is like actually like backed up my mm. facts and but sorry, like to jump on that do you enjoy this type of thing you, i mean you must right yeah. so you you must yeah. just keep yourself up because you want to as well yeah like i would be keeping updated on all of these things anyway and forming opinions on them anyway and i would probably be doing a lot of the research anyway mm. so it's now it's just like i'm actually like talking about yeah exactly but there's a lot of things that'll come up and i'll be like okay like i want to make a video on this let me first like make sure and like confirm all the actual like facts of the situation like the ukraine like video that i made that was one that required like a lot of like i researched that which is why like i was like oh like i should really try get a video up on the like ukraine situation when it first started kind of like developing Mm -hmm. and i literally i didn't have time to actually like read in depth so like i didn't make a video on it for like a Mm -hmm. few days and i only posted my video like quite late and like by that time, like, a lot of people had already, like, made statements on it, already, like, posted, like, people post on Twitter, like, just, like, at the drop of the hat, so, like, they, like, everyone had already posted the wildest takes on Twitter, people had made TikTok videos about it, and I was like, but you know what, like, I'm not just gonna, like, say something about, like, an actual, like, war that's going on Mm. without knowing what I'm talking about. How do you, but how do you find credible sources, because for me, like, if you, you don't want to spread misinformation, Mm. right, because that's probably one of the hardest things that I would want, like, I'd fucking stress. So how do you get, how do you know, how do you feel so confident? Do you feel confident when you put something? <laughs> uh, so some of the times, like, I don't feel, like, confident at all. I try and get, like, a variety of, like, sources. Um, a lot of the stuff, like, obviously, like, with something like Ukraine, it's, like, a very, like, current situation, so there's not, like, research on it. But, like, if I'm talking about something that's, like, obviously, like, a, a lot of my, like, videos, like, I speak about, like, kind of, like, the economics of, like, apartheid or, um, like, things that have happened, like, long in the past. So then there's, like, like you know, like, journal articles, like, saying, like, this was the economic situation during, like, apartheid. So I can, like, actually, like, cite, like, a journal article, like, that I read and say, well, this is, like, the facts of the situation. This is backed up. This is peer-reviewed. And that makes it, like, easier. Because also, like, even though, like, sometimes, like, you can find the information you need on Wikipedia and it actually is, like credible it's like cited and everything people don't trust you if you use wikipedia as a source so like i I remember some it was something about like the history of like the da and how the da was like founded and like as an organization how it developed and i used wikipedia because it's like the most concise place that like kind of sums it up like in the most you know easy like way to understand so i used that as my source and then people were like oh i'm not going to trust someone who uses wikipedia and i'm like okay well like go to the sources that wikipedia has cited yeah. and you'll see that like go to the da's websites and you'll see that this is like <laughs> yeah. confirmed yeah but like now so you just like won't do research as well exactly exactly yeah, they're the ones who are using those uh websites where you just copy paste the essay wikipedia <laughs> article all of that <laughs> this is such a random question but did the da come after apartheid were they formed after a So they were, f- like, it has, like, a really, like, complicated history of, like, name changes. So you're now off the top of my head. I think it was, like, the Progressive Party first. And then that, like, after apartheid, then they changed. Then they merged mm. with, like, um, other parties. And then eventually they became, like, they were the Democratic Party. So it, I think it was Progressive Party DP, during DP. apartheid. Then it was Democratic Party. Then they merged with... Um, some other parties they were going to merge with the new national party but that kind of fell through oh, um God. yeah <laughs> Good. yeah um and then they eventually um merged with another party i can't remember the name and then they be- became the democratic alliance okay yeah. Hectic, man. would you ever get involved in politics i've always said maybe one day like like i don't want to do it now like i feel mm. like i i w- wouldn't like like, now is not the right time in my life for me to be getting involved in politics, but maybe, like, in a few years, like, later mm. down the road. But also, I don't know what party I would join, you know? I'd probably have to run it as an independent, you know? Yeah, make your <laughs> own. Start your own. Exactly. Yeah. Become so the mayor scary. of four ways first. <laughs> Please. Mayor of four ways. Yeah. Make it the best place ever. <laughs> Implement Done. no roadworks <laughs> at all. <laughs> Repurpose the four ways fucking parking there at four ways mall mm. to be something useful. Useful. 
It's always empty. <laughs> so say, always they built all that parking and for what? Dude, even the mall only gets packed at like month end. You know, and it's so ugly as well. It's like this huge <laughs> concrete structure. I saw. It's a fucking you know? I was saying to Lives, I was like, the guy who sold the owners of Four Ways on the parking was a, was the best salesman ever. You know? It's like, guys, you're going to no, need this. But you know why I think they have that much parking is because there was supposed to be a Khao train station coming mm. there. And then it would make what? sense because people would drive to the Khao train station. Yeah. They would park their cars. They'd get on the... And now, where's where's the station? Yeah. It was supposed to apparently f- come two years after the initial development. And it's been like, how long now? Yeah, I hate You know? I'm still waiting for that sky bridge if it's a four-way exactly. crossing, bro. And the one to Cedar Square as well. They were supposed to connect Cedar Square, four-way's mall, four-way's crossing. All was supposed to be one big complex with a Khao train station. And they sold those the dreams. Metropolis. Those dreams. Because why have the Khao train station? Because when Monty's down the road and they have a no, bus. No, well, a that's train so the train. Four-ways. So that you don't have to take the bus. But then you put the bus out of business. Exactly. But that's the that's what they want to do. The buses. The buses are never full. The buses are always empty. <laughs> the buses are already empty. Oh, it did us. And it's just like same company. Do you it's not like, just why, why do you not, not see the buses like just driving up and down like William I Nichol like I'm empty? I'm not on the roads. Uh. <laughs> I stay in my house. I'm a good boy. The bus driver can just be pre- pretend to be a train driver. Pretend. <laughs> we create jobs here. <laughs> not promotion. Pretend. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Actually, like if I was like president of South Africa, like one of the first Ooh. things I would do is implement like a national railway system, like mm. catching a train from Joburg down to Durban, high speed train to Cape Town. That's yeah. like affordable so that everyone can actually make That'd use of it. So you know? The why? <laughs> 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 there is a train it just no, doesn't work when so I am well. president there will <laughs> be no crime and you don't want to go on <laughs> <laughs> that's a beautiful utopia you know yeah, would you I'll run probably. as a communist or <laughs> <laughs> uh. I mean maybe uh. I feel like that would get the votes <laughs> oh, yeah. no that's not bad. in South Africa Yo, all those old apartheid people are very anti-communist eh? <laughs> yeah eh? they're anti a lot of things <laughs> <laughs> true <laughs> what do you can I ask one more political question then yeah. I'm done um, Cyril as our president right now. Yeah. What do you think? What's your vibe? I mean... Vibe check on <laughs> Cyril. <laughs> vibe check on Cyril. Cyril, like... Yo, I feel like the people who know nothing about, about politics really like to hype him up uh. just because they think he's cute. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like... Me. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, like, in terms of, like, the policies that he's implementing and the direction he's taking the ANC, I don't like him Mm. um like he's very much moving in a neoliberal direction which is what i personally do not think the country needs i mean a lot of people will like support that and be like yes we need more privatization we need more like market orientated policies and i'm like cool if you think that but no (laughs) um and so like i think yeah the direction that he's taking the anc and the country is not good i mean like he says a lot of the like right stuff when it comes to like saying like yeah we're gonna clamp down on corruption and we're gonna tackle this this and this within the anc but then like has there been any action not really Mm. no so it's you know yeah meh vibes on cyril (laughs) i mean like there could be worse presidents but like There was. They, yeah, they I mean, definitely I were. Zuma, eh? <laughs> there was. Damn. Free my driller. Anyway. Yeah, I feel like South Africa has such low standards when it comes to like our history of politicians <laughs> that like, like, it's it's very difficult to like be like the worst in South Africa mm. because you've got a whole history mm. of the absolute worst oh, to be competing yeah. with. Uh, so actually, no, this is interesting. Yo, I do you want to take the mic? One more, one more, <laughs> one more for me. Um, what president in the world right now do you feel like? No, okay, forget about that. Solid Africa. Oak. Yeah. Who do, who do you think the president is like actually doing a fucking good job? I think I think she's the prime minister of New Zealand, not the president. Uh, but like, okay, so, yeah. yeah. Fully, I think yeah. she's been doing a good job. Mm. Like, especially like the way they handled COVID. Like, they had so few yeah. cases. Mm. But I mean, like, I think with any politician, there's obviously going to be like issues. Like, okay, I don't yeah. think anyone's going to, like, do the job perfectly. And I also, like, I very much don't like this thing of, like, idolizing politicians and being like, oh, they're so great, they're so fantastic, they're so amazing, like, with anyone. Because then like, they go and they do something wrong. And then exactly. Like, it's fine. Exactly. Yeah, it's fine. Exactly. But, yeah. like, out of, like, all that I could think of, I think she did a pretty decent job in New Zealand. Mm. They're all just uh, influencers with uh, more power than them. <laughs> 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 yep. They have their fan base. 
<laughs> will <laughs> ride for them, no matter what. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's full circle. I mean, Zuma did that well. He's got, I was gonna say, like, yeah, ride or die. He actually hey? got cancelled pretty well. <laughs> relatively, <laughs> relatively well. Yeah, he I got cancelled. Yeah, relatively. People they were rioting, rioting for, for him. him yeah, I jail. Like what can you say? You got your ride or die. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do you think people would riot for you if you went to jail? Yeah, facts, man. The streets of always would be littered. <laughs> I'm just crying. <laughs> you can't take him to jail, please. We need him. The, the, the right would happen at Lockstar. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it just end up becoming a jewel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They forget why they were there. Like, no, it's just a night there. It's <laughs> a DJ. It's one of those nights where like, the DJ takes the mic, he says one thing, and then the rest of the night is just a jewel. <laughs> Hashtag free David. Anyway, <laughs> just a small time. Girl. <laughs> that, that would be the song, though. Yeah, yeah. for Journey. <laughs> is that your prison <laughs> song? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be the, I'd be the, the prison with the phone of the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you can sneak phones into prisons really easily. Really? Yeah. Sneak? Do they not search your cells? Uh, yeah, the but there's ways around it. <laughs> I don't know what you expect. It's the oh, also <laughs> like Cakes. think about the way that people bribe the police here. You really think they can't no, bribe fair, a prison fair, guard? Fair, 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 like. Fair, fair. I was even like the one guy in the UK he went and I think he posted on TikTok. They went and posted it, like TikTok on him getting out of jail because he went and like literally like old school like cracked through the wall and like got through all like the plumbing oh, and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Posted a bunch of TikToks <laughs> of him like <laughs> jumping off and everything. <laughs> it's beautiful. That's jokes, man. In South Africa? No, no, UK. Uh, that seems I like I don't it think he was convicted fake. of anything like hectic. No. So it wasn't like a murderer getting away. How I do think you it was, like tax <laughs> discern fake content so if i look at something and i feel like this seems like it would be fake i then like google it and oh, then most it? of the time it is fake oh hectic that's yeah. so hectic because i could never do that dude last week we got this wrong or right is typhoid in the water do you have any idea oh yeah 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 <laughs> typhoid it's not in the water but there is like there's like four the cluster outbreaks that the ncid has okay. um NICD has reported in mostly Western Cape and I think one was Northwest and then there's been like isolated cases in Gauteng as well but it's not from like the municipal water um, but then there was I believe E. coli in the water in Nelson Mandela oh. Bay in the Eastern Cape so like <laughs> basically what uh, what the the National Institute for Communicable Diseases has said that is if you're worried about the water boil it for at least a minute before you like consume the water and that will kill off any of the like pathogens i always hated this this philosophy in school is like just boil it it'll die it's still there it's dead <laughs> and you're gonna consume it but it's dead don't worry well it <laughs> the is the poo is still in the water <laughs> <laughs> no but it can't hurt you i got poop in my water mom <laughs> <laughs> oh not again <laughs> <laughs> uh. they were also saying the nicd was saying something about like if you put like a very, very, very small amount of bleach in like 20 liters oh, of water. I, I think that. it's like one teaspoon of bleach in 20 liters of water. Please don't do this like without fact <laughs> checking though, because I don't know if that's the right ratio. This is just what I remember. But There's like, one kid, like. <laughs> Ma'am? but obviously like if you put too much bleach, that can be super dangerous. So yeah. like, but even when I used to work, I remember like we, I don't say where I worked. If you know, you can figure it out. Oh, I don't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Um, but we, at one time they ran out of like, like washing liquid. And then I just saw like the operators there just throwing a bit of bleach. I was like, hectic. I don't think I'm going to drink <laughs> from those glasses. <laughs> oh, hectic, man. Shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's pretty little. I've had, I've probably had a fair share of bleach in my life from that side. <laughs> yeah. But don't do it. That would explain I mean, a lot. Yeah, you can consume very small amounts of bleach, but... Would not recommend. Yeah, it doesn't At taste all. nice. Oh yeah. Well, the helicopter's landing. Is it? Yes, the helicopter's landing. I don't know if you saw that. It's the fucking first time anyone's ever seen him landed. Ooh! It does. He normally doesn't do the theatrics. It's beautiful because you you hype me up. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to another episode of Vows Podcast. We appreciate the support constantly. We've just made a new video now of Libs and I trying to climb a mountain. So go check it out on our After Vibes channel. It was very After great. Vibes. Links are there. Hey. Highly recommend. <laughs> Number one fan. And <laughs> as always, you know where to find us. Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, Amazon Music. Apple Podcasts. 
<laughs> That's why we need you every week, Kate. Kate, <laughs> Kate where can they find Bob's podcast? If you've seen the segments, you know what's going to happen right now. Oh, no, there's a lot of pressure now. Just like if you go and you take all your water that's in your taps, yeah, and then you go outside and you reduce the water pressure to zero, when you hear that air shooting through as you're about to go, you know when it goes... <laughs> It actually sounds like this end segment where David when, tells when us when you the boil the water is. so you don't get typhoid. Yeah. You, when you listen to the bubbles, the sound that the yes. bubbles make, it sounds like Bob's podcast. Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, David, I just took mine. <laughs> <laughs> that was really hard. <laughs> if you if you uh, go over to Caitlin's TikTok, you'll actually see that there's a TikTok there. Um, most of them actually, she mentions Bob's podcast, but majority of them just go on about how great we are. Uh, so if you want to hear more about Bob's podcast, but also in a political sense, yeah, go check and, out and Kate. haven't been nothing about Bob's podcast <laughs> as well. <laughs> Definitely go check out Kate. <laughs> but yeah, Kate, where can the people find you? The people can find me primarily on TikTok. It's at by Caitlin Rawson. Mm. And then they can also find me on Instagram, also at by Caitlin Rawson. And on YouTube, where mm. I don't post videos at the moment. <laughs> but maybe one day I might. So, mm. you know, subscribe anyway. <laughs> yes. By Caitlin Rawson as, as well. So oh, That's beautiful. Ooh. Yeah. Thank, yeah, you, thank you so much for being on, Kate. Thanks I feel for like having me. Is, yeah, bro. It's been a fucking beautiful a episode. Been a pleasure. It's been a vibe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can come general. back every week. <laughs> yeah, you can come back whenever you want. My goodness. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this installment of Vibes Podcast. Thank you, everybody. We love you so much. Love the support. Thank you for letting us, you know, be able to do this. And also, Davey, as always. Do it for the vibes, yeah. Do it for the vibes. Do it for the vibes. Don't yes, take him boy. back as well. Please leave him immediately. Hello. I'll tell you if he cheats. Welcome back to After <laughs> Vibes. All righty. This is a segment where we get deep and dark and dirty. Typhoid in the water. I've drank some typhoid. <laughs> Why are you sitting here with us then? <laughs>